How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you had a good Tuesday. I just realized today that we're kind of uh, launching headlong towards Friday the 13th. Ooh, <laughs> it's always kind of ominous, isn't it? <laughs> but nonetheless, we're not there yet. Today is just Tuesday. So we've got a handful of things to break tonight. But before we get started with that, there is some information to go over. I have been told lately that some of you have problems um, seeing the spreadsheet. Sometimes when it goes up, you say it, some people say it looks blurry, while other people will say it looks fine. So the only thing I can tell you is if when you see this spreadsheet info go up, if it does look blurry or strange to you, try just refreshing your page. Or if you're on a mobile device, try using the YouTube app instead of going, you know, through the browser to YouTube. That's the only recommendation I have on that. But anyway, first up, feedback. I get asked this a lot. So that's why I've kind of incorporated it in here. And it's basically just to let you know that I have it completely automated. And that's really just so you don't ever have to wait on me. As soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you should literally instantly get it in return. Not, I mean, it should take like a nanosecond and you should have it in return. So no waiting. Uh, that's just the quickest and easiest way to make sure you guys are taken care of and get your, your feedback from me. Next up, a quick note here to say thanks. Uh, that's because I appreciate everybody who bids with me and breaks with me. You guys that come and chat and keep me company. Uh, sometimes you come and just watch the videos, maybe even after the fact. So whatever brings you here, I am glad to have you here. And yeah somebody's telling me something in chat now about the spreadsheet um he watched the break yesterday at his office and it looked blurry on the spreadsheet when he went to youtube.com but when he used the app everything looked fine so i don't know that's super weird guys um but it sounds like uh and i know the recorded version always looks fine and it always looks fine on my side so some kind of youtube weirdness going on i don't know if it's bandwidth or or what but uh, again, if you are seeing a blurry image on the spreadsheet, you can try a couple of things. You can try refreshing the page. You can also try using the YouTube app if you're on a mobile device. What we're taking a look at right now, this is uh, a list of the breaks that are already listed on eBay. They're coming up over the next five days, right? So this is all the stuff we're going to be breaking here in the days ahead. There is loads of memorabilia mixed in here. Uh, on each of these nights. So we've got basketball jerseys, baseball jerseys, football jerseys, uh, full-size helmets, mini helmets, uh, batting helmets, you name it. We've got tons of autograph memorabilia. I will note that on Thursday night, we do have one of another one of our triple play boxes. This one is for baseball. And those are fun because they have three different autographed items in them, a jersey, uh, an, an autograph ball, and an autograph picture. So let's talk a minute about our cases. So Wednesday night we will open, that's tomorrow night, we're going to open a case of encased basketball, a case of inception baseball, and we'll start a new case of Topps Museum Collection. We're only going to open half the case, but it is the beginning of a new case. And I do know that Gold Standard comes out tomorrow night. I messed up. Fourth of July threw me all off. And I don't have it listed to break on release night, but I do have it listed to break the following night. So on Thursday night, we will break a half case of gold standard and a half case of 2011 prime signatures football on Friday night. We got a lot of stuff on Friday night, gold rush series two autographed helmets. They come out on Friday. We're going to start breaking them Friday night. There's a brand new checklist associated with that. It has a lot of our rookies on it. Our new rookies from the 2018 class. So be sure and check out the checklist. It's at the bottom uh, of the description down there in the manufacturer information. We will also open a case of Topps Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition. That comes out Wednesday as well, but we're not going to start opening it until Friday. Leaf Valiant Football, that comes out Friday. We'll start opening it Friday. It is uh, no base in that. Everything is on-card autographs. There are four autographs per box. Three of them are what I would call typical. The fourth one is um, graded, and it is guaranteed to be graded 9.5 or higher. And it will be loaded with our 2018 rookie class. And then also Friday night, some more gold standard. On Saturday, we've got lots of memorabilia in there. More Leaf Valiant, more Encased Basketball, and more Inception Baseball. On Sunday, we're going to open the batting helmet. 
and we're going to start a new case of Stadium Club Baseball. And that's all we're going to open on Sunday, just those two things. Which now brings us to what we're opening tonight. This is also the order that we are breaking in this evening. So it is the TriStar Game Day Greats football jersey, followed by the Gold Rush full-size helmet, followed by the half case of Elite Football. So a couple of things to note. The first one is our memorabilia, our free shipping breaks. Uh, whenever you do a break with me that is completely free shipping, you can plan on it going out six or seven days after the auction ends in general. Sometimes I get it out a little faster if I've got an extra five or ten minutes here or there. But uh, look for it. The projected shipping date is to go out on Monday. If it goes out sooner, so much the better. Our paid shipping break tonight, that is Elite Football. It is projected to ship out on Friday. I'm going to try to get that to you sooner, but for the moment, projecting it to go out Friday. Last but not least, if you are in one of the memorabilia breaks tonight and your team is not pulled, you are still entitled to a consolation card that consists of a card that uh, can be from any year and any series. I do track that stuff for a rolling 90-day period. Normally what happens is the next time you do get a hit, you pull a card or an item or whatever, I look back over the prior 90 days, I grab up any of those consolation cards you are due, I include them with that package, and there we go, we're all caught up and it's out the door. If you don't want to do it that way, you want your consolation card sent separately by itself in a plain white envelope and a stamp, shoot me a message on eBay, we'll get you taken care of. That's all the boring stuff, now we're moving on to the fun stuff. So 2018 TriStar Game Day Greats Autograph Football Jersey break number 22 is up first. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, Tuesday night, July the 10th. And of course, we open the same night that uh, it ends, typically. Team names are on the left. Winning bidders are on the right. Anytime you see that, that says no bids buyback, uh, that's just an orphan team. No one wanted to give it a forever home. So if anything comes out for one of those no bids teams, of course, it's just going to Hang out here with me, otherwise it will go out to one of you. And I did change the focus there. I don't use autofocus. I do know that put the background out of focus, but not to worry. We'll still be able to see what we need to see. Now in chat, we have Aaron and Greg and Geo. Well, it's actually Geo9223, I think, but I'm just going to call you Geo. Is that all right? I hope. I guess... Well, I started to say, I guess you couldn't tell me if it wasn't, but you could. You could type it in chat and say, no, that is not all right. Do not call me that. <laughs> but if you don't say that, that's what I'm going to call you. Hey, hey, we have a Cincinnati Bengal. We have A.J. Green and the Bengals coming out of here. <laughs> Aaron said he had the Bills, the Packers. The Giants, and I always seem to pull the Steelers, so we got the Steelers. And then tonight, dang it, now we pulled a bingo, right? I'm so sorry. We have been pulling a lot of Steelers stuff lately. You're right about that. Uh, there is a JSA authentication card to go along with your JSA authentication sticker. There is AJ Green's uh, autograph on the jersey. This, uh, I believe, is custom. Yeah, I don't see any NFL logos or anything uh, on there. So it's just a custom Bengals jersey. But the important part is the autograph. So A.J. Green, Cincinnati Bengals, hit on our TriStar jersey. Don't have a whole lot of those left. Maybe three or four TriStars left. And then, of course, we've got some of the new 2018 Gold Rush that just came out. They also have our rookie class in them are parts of our rookie class and i think we're not too far from leaf jerseys being out again i want to say the leaf jerseys start uh heading our way in maybe another couple of weeks two three weeks so we got plenty to keep us busy even when we uh run out of tri star game day greats if you didn't see this a moment ago please take a second and look up there at the info that you see it gives you your projected shipping date and also information about consolation cards if your team is not pulled in this break. And this is a 2018 Gold Rush Autograph full-size football helmet. It is break number 17. This is the last one of this series. And as I said earlier, there is a brand new series. Series 2 of this comes out starting on Friday with a brand new checklist. And we're going to be opening some of them on Friday as well. But for now... 
This one ended tonight, uh, July the 10th. We have one that didn't sell. You'll see that is the Kansas City Chiefs. We have one that is currently unpaid. That is the LA Chargers and uh, everything else. You have, of course, team names and bidder names matched up. The only difference right there. A couple of uh, multi-signed helmets in there. One of them is uh, college football greats. The other one is Heisman Trophy winners. If we were to pull out either one of those multi-signed helmets, it would, of course, go to the respective bidding spot. Otherwise, um, you know, going to go as, as normal to one of the teams. I'm just hitting all the wrong buttons here. I'm trying, I'm trying to get myself back to the right page, and you too. I kept hitting the wrong thing, so, and I just did it again. Anyway, I think we're now ready to open it. Gina's here. Hi, Gina, and Dale is here. And there's I Say is uh, here again. I Say is thinking that our helmet is going to be the Titans or the Oilers. Which, of course, are the same team, for those of you who do not know. Houston Oilers are a defunct franchise. Uh, but, oh, I forgot. There's somebody who always wants to see the tape. So there's the tape, uh, which doesn't normally fit within the... You know, I've opened these for years, and it's never been a problem, but somebody the other night said they wanted to see the tape on the Gold Rush stuff, so now I just try to remember to do it. Anyway, Titans and Oilers are the same team. The Oilers, um, of course, just that franchise moved to Tennessee. First, they were the Tennessee Oilers, then they were the Tennessee Titans. If we were to pull out an Oiler, it would go to the Titans. This is a very nice hit. Kid, uh, kids, you guys are going to like this. There's a little sticker on the inside that tells me who it is, so I get a little sneak peek ahead of you. And look at that. Woohoo! Yeah, it's Jerry Rice, baby. I love me some Jerry Rice. So San Francisco 49ers, and there is your Beckett COA. It's just this little bitty card, so make sure you find that thing when uh, you get this day it out make sure you have it before you toss all the packaging out and there of course is your Beckett authentication sticker on the back and once again we'll take one more little look at it there from the top all the lights are kind of hitting it weird but anyway it is Jerry Rice for the 49ers and it's a nice little hit if you happen to have San Francisco you're happy with that I expect All right, let me get that put back where it needs to go. And then we're going to be moving on to Elite. All right, let's see here. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. Where is the page I need to be on? I can I cannot seem to click on the right thing tonight. For some reason, I keep I have too many tabs open. I think that's the problem. So I keep clicking on the wrong thing. So Elite Football. This is a six box half case break. It's the last of the Elite that we have. Uh, one of the places uh, sold me an extra half case. Didn't have a full case, but did have a half. So I took it, and here we are. And, of course, this, again, is a paid shipping break with a projected shipping date of Friday. Hopefully, I can get it out to you sooner. I'm going to try very hard to, uh, but it is currently projected for Friday. And what else? This is the last of the Elite, but, of course, we have Gold Standard coming out uh, tomorrow. So, so we can't be too sad because we have something else fun coming right behind it. Actually, I do have, I forgot about that. I do have some first off the line elite, but it's not very much. It's a strange amount because Panini has gotten in this weird habit with first off the line of um, making everything four box limits, which I'm like, four? Why do you want to choose four? So if I can't buy the whole case, which would be my preference, at least let me buy the half case. You know, four is just such a an unuseful number. <laughs> in fact, I've got first off the line in quantities of four of a bunch of different stuff because, like, what am I ever going to do with it? It's a quantity of four. Which 
probably begs the question as to then why am I buying it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I always have good intentions, and I think, oh, I'll make a mixer. I'll do something with it, and then I don't, and then it just sits there, and eventually I probably open most of it myself and spend tons more money than I should, and there you go. So, All right, so Elite Football, you know in, in this box that we should find a nice little Pen Pals on-card autograph in each box. And then we usually will find uh, another autograph hanging around in here as well. And I think it's just, is it one memorabilia in here or two? One, I think. Yeah, one. Isn't that awful? As much as we've opened and I still have to stop and think about that. And then, of course, there will be loads and loads of uh, parallels, numbered things, and like that. Because there are so many numbered things, for the most part, I don't really spend a lot of time on those there's tons of them and they go all the way up to 699 but if we find something that's a really low number of course we'll take a little better look at it than if we have the high number stuff tidal waves this insert anytime it is silver along those edges it will not be numbered if we see one that has a different color edge then we know it will be numbered i've got somebody trying to stick behind there Spellbound, these are generally going to be numbered to 299. If there's a different background color than silver, then again, we'll know it's numbered differently. But if the background color remains silver, you will know it is to 299. Josh Norman, that is to 99 for the Redskins. Oh, I already had some open. <laughs> I was like, man, I went through what I opened really quickly. No, I didn't. I had it sitting back there still. Captain Clutch, those are unnumbered unless we see one that has a different color scheme. Then we'll know to stop and take a look. Rookie Elitist, an insert that is not numbered. At least I've yet to find one that is. But they are kind of cool. Anyway. Ooh, look who's coming. And this looks like it's going to be the Pen Pal, too. Yeah, it is. It is Josh Rosen. And it's the blue ink. And so, um... Oh, I'm trying to think. I believe the blue ink is 99 or less. Panini finally came out and said, here's what each of the ink colors is going to be. You know, they're not numbered, but of course they are um, some more scarce than others. And the blue, I'm pretty sure, was 99 copies or less. Either way, Josh Rosen is a nice hit, especially with the blue. It's to $2.99, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. Um, I say yes, I do send out the base for sure. Everything, um, everything goes unless it says otherwise in the listing description. I mean, it's super rare for me not to ship the base, but on the rare occasion where I might not, you would find that in the listing description, kind of in the, you know, in the area where it talks about the date and time of the break. And then right below that, like tonight, it would have said six boxes of 2018 Panini Elite Football half case break, etc. If there's ever a point at which not all the cards ship, that is the place in the description where it will say that. And it would say, you know, XYZ isn't going to ship or something. But again, that's not really very common. I typically ship them all. Same as the others, guys, when it is that silver, um, it is a fairly high number. This one is, again, to 299 If we run across one of those with a different color edge, then you know it's going to be numbered a little bit lower. And this is numbered a little bit lower. Speaking of, it is numbered to 10 for the Chargers. Blazing Breaks, I see that you said 99 in there. What did you, what are we talking about, 99? Are you talking about uh, something I just looked at that I didn't call out the number for that was numbered to 99? Or did I just not see that earlier? That, of course, is uh, meant to look like a playing card. Those generally, once again, are not going to be numbered if we... See one with a different color scheme. We'll flip it over and check it out. It's to $1.99 for the bills. 
And we are Jarvis Landry and the Browns on this one to 299. And Mr. Mr. Tree Trimming, you must be uh, our Cardinals team owner tonight. Man, I tell you what, Mr. Tree Trimming, if that's really what you do for a living, I wish you were around here because I need some help with mine, I'll tell you that. Oh, Blazing Breaks, you said the rookie elite is some of them are numbered. Oh, I've yet to find one that is, but you said there are some and they're super rare. Uh, you opened three cases, didn't see any, but you have seen them in other breaks. Uh, what did we open to this, guys? Uh, three cases, I believe, and this makes the, so this makes three and a half. I haven't seen one yet numbered. That's uh, Sam Darnold for the Jets, and it is kind of high numbered uh, to 399, but nonetheless, if you've got the Jets, you're still probably kind of happy to see it. Mark Andrews to 99 for the Ravens. Looks like our next hit out is going to be for the Packers. It is Marquez Valdez Scantling. And that's going to be a pretty little number to 99. So I always like when they're a little lower numbered. I mean, I guess we all do, right? <laughs> it kind of goes without saying. Like no one wants to get one that's like numbered to 999 or something. Um... What is red ink? Greg, the red ink is the lowest, but I don't remember exactly what it was numbered to. Again, to $2.99 unless we see a different color background on those. I want to say the red ink was, oh gosh, and this may be wrong, might have been $25 or less, but I would have to double check on that. That's to $6.99. I honestly did not commit to memory. Um what that was and this is to 2.99 we didn't have a should, we should have had a memorabilia card in there but we didn't that's odd that was everything yeah that's so strange so we got our two autographs but there was no there was no memorabilia card in that box which is super weird Blazon said, the oh, the red is to five. Okay, so the green is 10 or less. The red is five or less. The blue is 99. That's the only one I could remember was the blue. And I hate that Panini puts that stuff out so far after the fact. You know, product will be out well, like they did with Contenders last year. They were still releasing the short prints and the super short prints. Two, three, four weeks after Contenders was out, they'd be like, oh, here's part of the list. And then the next week, oh, here's a few more. And then the next week, here's a few more. Like, come on, man. Do it like Tops does it. Release the product. Release the list. But that's not what they do. And then I can't, you know, I read it way after the fact. And then I forget what is numbered to what and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we know it's low numbered. Landon Collins is numbered 299. And thank you, Blazing Breaks, for looking that up for me. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, guys, this is just an example. I'm going to point it out real quickly. You see that he is in a Colts uniform. There is the verbiage about when he was traded to the Dolphins. Of course, there's a Dolphin team signal front and, and back. Team signal, team sign. <laughs> God, team logo. What am I trying to say? This is numbered to 99 for the Titans. And so, of course, it goes to the team that is designated on the card. It does not go to the uniform that the player is wearing. So I think most of you probably know that, but I point it out, that's to 699, because sometimes if you're not paying attention, you're just looking down and you look back up and you see, you know, your a uniform go by you might think it's your player then when you get your cards and you don't have it you don't know why so i'm filling you in look at that hey that's a nice hit bradley chubb in the blue ink for the broncos so we've had two very nice pen pals hits so far out of uh, our half case of elite that is to 6.99 for the redskins 
This will be to 299 on the Spellbound. So, so far, I am, uh, I am happy with what we're pulling out here right now. Greg, do you have the Broncos in here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, Blazing, I'm with you. I always love when people chime in when I'm doing breaks. I love it when you guys, like, help me out. And sometimes you look stuff up or you help me when I can't remember something. Somebody will jump in there and say, oh, yeah, it's XYZ. I think that's awesome. Because that way you can kind of I can share it with everybody as we go along. Demarius Thomas, that is a die cut to 24. Of course, all of our die cuts in Elite are numbered to 24. And hopefully we'll have our, our memorabilia in this card because I think it are in this box because I think it's really weird we didn't get it in the last one. To $6.99 for the Browns. JT Barrett, that is to $99 for the Saints. And Blazin, I agree with you um, about when Panini releases their checklist too. Sometimes they release them early, like you would want and expect. Other times, you know, like you said, tonight we finally see gold standard. I kind of like the way Tops does it. You can just generally expect it to show up six days before, that's the wrong sleeve, six days before the product hits the streets and they're pretty reliable with it. And So I like their timing, but I like the way Panini presents it on their website much better. So this is numbered to 49. It's AJ Green. It's uh, prime targets and... Honestly, they could have given us a little nicer piece of material. Because I always hate when you get white for the Bengals, right? I mean, their uniforms are predominantly black and orange. And most of the time, when you get a Bengals memorabilia, it would just be white. Like, for real, what are you giving me? Part of their pants, maybe? Or, I guess, could be the inside of the number... But if I can't see any threads or seams on it, that's not that much fun. I mean, I want, I want to see something besides just stupid white. I do not like stupid white. Well, it's not stupid, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying they could do better, especially numbered to 49. But anyway... <laughs> Aaron, it is A.J. Green night. We pulled the A.J. Green jersey a while ago out of uh, TriStar Game Day Great. So, Oh, do you guys know, um, you know how last night we were talking about Summer League and all the injuries and Malik Monk breaking his thumb and all this? Do you know they've come out today and said he did not break his thumb? This is to 99. This is the Eagles and... Um, it is, of course, uh, with the different color background to 99. If we see one with other colors, they may be numbered to something else, but that one to 99. So apparently, like how do you misread an x-ray? If you're a doctor and you're looking at it, like either the dude's thumb is broken or it's not. So the people in Vegas, presumably at the hospital, tell him his thumb is broken or fractured. Then he goes back and sees the team doctors, and the team doctors tell him it's not. Does that seem a little suspect? <laughs> I don't know. That's numbered to 99. It is Hayden Hurst for the Baltimore Ravens. But I thought that was super, super weird. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to kind of tell, I don't think. Face-to-face, -face, numbered to 299. I'm going to set this aside Here's what I do with those. Um, anytime we have cards like that, where you have one team on one side and one team on the other, save them all up. At the end of the break, we'll use random.org to award those. So we'll, we'll work on that a little bit more at the end of the break. That is to 299, and it's the Jags. So I don't know about Malik Monk and his thumb, but it seems to me, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I guess you trust the team doctors, but I mean, you have to. They're supposed to be the best, but yet it seems kind of odd. 
This is numbered to 78 for the Titans, Derrick Henry. So, anyway, there you have it. Did we not get a... Yeah, we... Okay, so... Now, wait a minute. We've had... Is this our... This is our third box. Okay, no, that's right. We were missing just one memorabilia. We've only opened two. This is the third. I was just looking at my little stack over there. Trying to see what was what. Like I'm in Vegas, right? <laughs> that's what I would do if I'm in Vegas. I keep my chips stacked in a certain way so that I could always glance down at the table and know whether I was up, down, or even. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of what I do with our hits. I stack them over there in a certain way so I know if we're hitting what we're what we're promised on the box or not. All right. Shaquille. Shaquem Griffin. I always like pulling him. He's to 99. He didn't come out that often either, autograph-wise. Uh, he he's live in here, as is uh, Lamar Jackson, but neither of them show up with a huge degree of regularity. This is to 299. You saw a redemption there. I'm leaving it face down for the moment because I mean like that. That's to 699. And we will flip it over for sure and take a look at it. But I'm going to wait all the way until the end of the break. That's so mean, I know. Leighton Van Der Esch to 99 for the Cowboys. But here's how I look at it. It gives you something to look forward to, right? To flip it over and see if it's going to be yours, I think. It's good to have a little anticipation, especially if you're not hitting, because then you still have that one left where you think, well, that could be mine. That might work out. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Blazing Break says he feels like it's going to be Lamar Jackson. <laughs> if it is Lamar Jackson, Blazing Breaks, I would be really happy with that. Because I have yet to pull him out of here, signature-wise. So I would be happy, happy with that. But he's he's starting to show up in more things. He's um, He is in Gold Rush Series 2 full-size helmets. He's in the Gold Rush 2018 football jerseys. I want to say he was in something else, another memorabilia I saw. So he, he is starting to show up in things finally. I think the deal with Lamar Jackson is, of course, many of you know this, he doesn't have, or he didn't have, I don't know if he does now, but going into the draft and through the draft and in the immediate aftermath, he did not have an agent. He and his mother were just doing the whole thing. My assumption would be... Um, to save that 10% or whatever. This is Mark Walton Pen Pals for the Bengals. And I expect, I mean, I'm sure people probably reached out to him and his mother along the way. But for whatever reason, I think they just weren't making those deals early on. Whereas if he had an agent, the agent probably would have been, you know, hammering at him to get it done. Because, yeah, the agent wants their cut. That's to 99, Von Miller and the Broncos. That's just my theory. I mean, the agent part we know, but the the other is my theory as to why. To 299, again, when it's the silver color, pretty much always going to be 299 in, in Elite. To 699 for the Bears. So one would think that he has an agent by now, but I don't know, maybe he doesn't. Um, Travis, who was the full-size helmet? Um, oh my gosh, Jerry Rice. Isn't that awful? I have to think about that a second. Oh my gosh, that is to 99 and the Bengals. It was Jerry Rice for the 49ers. And I say, uh, you answered that for me too, probably before I answered it. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much for helping me out on that, I say. 
And Blazin says that he thinks that Lamar Jackson only signed something like 15 pen pal autographs. That is to 299 Teddy Bridgewater. Once again, note he's in his Vikings uniform, but is a card for the Jets. So, yeah, I don't know what Lamar's kind of deal has been, but he is in gold standard. That's to 49 for the Rams. And hopefully, we're going to find him in there a lot more frequently. Blazin says that he's uh, got like a hundred. Oh, wow. I didn't know that many. Like 150 total in, uh, in gold standard for Lamar Jackson. So... Hey, if you got the Ravens, you best be loading up there in gold standard, I guess. Number to 24, our die cut Landon Collins for the Giants. Hey, Blazin, what does the Quan Barkley look like in uh, gold standard? I haven't looked at the checklist yet. That's to 399, Josh Rosen and the Cardinals. Is he in there a lot? I would think, but I don't know. And this, this looks interesting. It is Evan Ingram, and we at least got two colors out of it, so I kind of like that. And on the back side, this is the part I'm more interested in. This is numbered to five, which, uh, and it is Jeremy Shockey on the back side for the Giants. So that is uh, really kind of cool. Evan Ingram on one side, Shockey on the other, and the numbered to five, I'm not going to argue with. And out of three and a half cases, I believe that's our first throwback threads as well. So, so far, this uh, half case of loose boxes that uh, one of my distributors kind of let us slide in on is working out all right. So you said... Um, Saquon Barkley has an has autograph card and then some short prints in there, and he's over three quarters of the hit sheet for for the Giants. You mean? So most so if you if you have the Giants, you're going to hit basically Saquon Barkley and not much else. Is that what I'm hearing you say? I think maybe I don't know. <laughs> A uh, group break checklist is one that I use myself. Um, there are a bunch of them that are out there. There's um, something or another uh, ninja something, break ninja or ninja break. I don't remember. Anyway, I I've talked to you guys about this before sometimes, but there are a bunch of different websites that will take these checklists and break them down by team. So if you ever want to look at a product's hits just by a certain team, you can really just Google probably really group break checklists. Although the one website, that is the name of their website, but it will also bring you up many other alternatives that you can look at. And most of them will have newer and older products, so you can kind of deep dive into some of that stuff. That is to 299 for the Redskins, Alex Smith. And of course, you can always see the checklist on the manufacturer's website, but they don't break it down into teams like some of these other sites do. This is to 299 for the Browns. It is Josh Gordon. So much like uh, I tell you guys to use Auction Sniper, that's to 699 for the Raiders. I will also tell you that it's very handy to go look up those uh, group break checklists. Packers, that is to 199. Um, Blazin, what did you say here? Lamar has one autograph number to 127. Oh, okay, so it was Lamar Jackson you were talking about, not Saquon Barkley earlier. I got you. Tyler says that he has uh, only seen seven Seahawks cards. Do you mean numbered cards, Tyler, or do you mean in total? I would surely to goodness there's more than seven in total that we've gone past. I mean, obviously I haven't been, you know, specifically tracking that, but I would think we would have had more than, than seven in total, but I don't know, maybe not. Well, the Broncos just have themselves a wealth of riches tonight. 
because you have a dual pen pal, Cortland Sutton and Royce Freeman, and you already hit your very nice Bradley Chubb blue ink earlier. So the Broncos continue to be some of the superstars, I think, of uh, elites. They just come out of here pretty regularly, it seems to me, anyway. Cam Newton, 1099 for the Carolina Panthers, who are now officially sold, officially belong to their new owner. Of course, we knew old dude who owned them was kind of forced out, and he made the deal a while back. I can't even remember the guy's name, the gazillionaire who bought them, but anyway, it's official now. Panthers under their new ownership. And speaking of, here's another Cam Newton Spellbound, but that one is to 25. So you can, uh, you can spell out Cam Newton, well, at least two or three letters uh, of his name just out of this break. So it can progress if that's what you're working towards. That is numbered to 699 for the 49ers. And here comes a Bradley Chubb for the Broncos. It is numbered to 199. I don't know why I put that in sleeve right there. I usually kind of do that after the break, but habit. Every once in a while, it just slips up on me. Tyler says seven in total. Dag gone. <laughs> That's Tyler. I'm sorry, man. Well, hopefully, we're gonna pick up the pace for you a little bit with these last boxes. Our relic here is T.Y. Hilton for the Colts. I mean, for sure, some teams are going to pull more cards than others. That's always been the case with just about anything. But, of course, you know, we want you to get more than seven if possible. This is numbered to 92. Speaking of, it is Lamar Jackson for the Ravens, who I'm excited to see play. Oh, Blazin, you passed on the Broncos. Dang, man. Yeah, that's that was... I, in most of the cases that I opened, of course, everything was a full case except for tonight. Um, but in most of the cases that I opened, the Broncos were extremely well represented. And they came out quite often in Pen Pals in particular. And, of course, tonight has proven to, uh, to be no exception to that. But I do feel your pain on that. I do that sometimes. I'll think I'm going to get a team, and then I'll decide, eh, it's more than I want to pay or whatever. That's numbered to 88 for the Broncos, Demarius Thomas. Or I'll think, oh, there's another team I'd rather have. There is Deshaun Watson to 10 for the Texans. And then later I'll watch the break and whatever team I have chosen will hit like nothing or something terrible. <laughs> you know, something like, oh, I don't want it. And then whatever team I thought about buying but didn't will hit 9,000 things. So I understand. I feel your pain. Here's another man that's very well represented in this product. And it is Mike Gesicki for the Dolphins with a very nice low hit to 25. We did a case the other night where we pulled three different Mike Gesicki Pen Pal autographs out of one case. One was blue, I think. The other two were black ink, but all three out of one case, and all three were Pen Pal. I mean, it was crazy. That is to 699 for Hayden Hurst and the Ravens. Their new little tight end, who's supposed to be, by all accounts, pretty good. So, we'll see how it shakes out, I guess. But really, it's the Ravens. I, and isn't that strange for me to say, being a Steelers fan, but it's really the Ravens I'm most interested in seeing play right now. That's who I want to see in the preseason, because you know they're going to be using Lamar, and of course... You know, Lamar was just up the road from me. He was my arch rival when he was uh, in college because I went to school at University of Kentucky, so I'm a big Wildcats fan. 
And you know, our football team, well, let's just say we don't have a lot of guys in the pros. <laughs> Unlike our basketball team, our football team lags a little behind. And we were in Louisville a couple years ago, a few years ago. Lamar Jackson, the year he won the Heisman, so what would that have been? 17? 16? 17? 16. We just finished 17, yeah, so 16. And so we were we were there. We were winning, which was kind of unusual. And <laughs> there, I can't even remember who their quarterback was at that point, but Lamar was the backup. He wasn't the main quarterback. <laughs> and so their, their quarterback goes out, gets hurt, gets injured, whatever. And Lamar goes in. So we are ahead and looking like we can win the game. We're all feeling pretty good because, hey, here comes the backup quarterback in. Oh, my goodness. He just torched us. That is to 75, Justin Tucker. And then, of course, we, I think, beat him the following year. But not that notwithstanding, um, despite the fact that he played for our arch rival uh, up the road, that is numbered to 59 for the Colts. He is a very dynamic player. He's fun to watch. And despite the fact that he went to my nemesis, uh, the Ravens, being a Steelers fan, to $6.99, I'm still very excited about watching him play. So, And I kind of like the idea that they're talking about having him and Flacco on the field at the same time. Because that means they are going to use him as a rookie. And they can't get rid of Flacco yet. Because they're buried under that massive, unwarranted, huge contract they gave him. Corey Davis and the Titans. That is numbered to 49. And if I didn't hold it upside down, it would have been easier for you to read that, I bet. And uh, <laughs> Aaron says we had the, had the hefty, uh, <laughs> the hefty lefty. Yeah, we had Lorenzen, man. We did. We did. We did. Oh, wait a minute. What did you say? Oh, Blazin, you said, oh, man. Oh, that is harsh. <laughs> I'm reading back in chat a little bit right at the moment. That is to 199 for the Bills. I'm reading back up through the comments. Blazin Brake says he is a Bills fan, and the very first case of Elite that I opened, he almost bid on it, and he decided, no, he's going to wait and get in on the second case. That is P. Ryan to 49. And, of course, uh, for many of you who have been in all of the Elite breaks with me, you know what came out of that first case. Oh, yes, it was a one-of-one one. Josh Allen came busting right out of case one of Elite. So Blazing Breaks is still, he says, kind of, I guess, basically licking his wounds over that. I don't blame you for that. That's a, that's a tough one to stomach. Doris Fountain for the Colts. Pen Pals out of this box. <laughs> and then what happened? And then the second one. Oh, no. You, you didn't see me pull the one of one out of... Uh, out of the first case you just heard us talking about it and you had the bills in the second case oh i ruined your night didn't i that was to 6.99 i messed you up all that night didn't i oh man i'm so sorry i feel bad blazing i feel bad mr tree trimming says who is the best wildcat pro football player of all time in my opinion you know, I don't know some of the older guys. I mean, I'm sure I would hope. Good grief, maybe we never did. I don't know. But I would, I would hope that we had some back in time that went pro. But I don't know if we did or not. Um, that's really a tough call. Because we have a lot of def defensive guys who are good. But my personal favorite is Randall Cobb. I love Randall Cobb. So, of course, he played uh, quarterback here some. But obviously, he's uh, a receiver for the Packers. But I don't know if you would technically say he was the most successful. It's probably some of the, some of the guys who have played on defense, who have played longer. And it's maybe even somebody from a zillion years ago that I'm not thinking of. That is to 699. 
But basically, you know, what happened is we kind of have the, the Bear Bryant curse, as I call it. A lot of you probably know this history already. This is Matt Ryan to $9.99. But once upon a time, the University of Kentucky had Bear Bryant running its football program, and we had Adolf Rupp running our basketball program. And they both won the conference championship one year, the best I recall. I mean, from, from reading it, I wasn't, you know, living it then. <laughs> but anyway, so they gave Adolf Rupp a car, like <laughs> a nice one or something. And then they gave Bear Bryant a watch the same year when they both won their conference championship. So one gets a car and one gets a watch. This is Mike White for the Cowboys. Another nice low number to 25 on that one. And so naturally, Bear Bryant, well, he was pretty ticked off that he got a watch and Adolf Rupp got a car, so he left. Danny Amendola to 299. And then you know the rest of the story with Bear Bryant. <laughs> yeah, that would be something called a little powerhouse called Alabama. And uh, that pretty much cursed our football team for all of time and eternity, in my opinion. That is numbered to 99. It is Sam Darnold and the Jets. So a little, a little history about uh, Kentucky football and how we ended up where we are. <laughs> it was a sad, sad story. Oh, Blazin, I know what you mean. I, I often am the same way. I don't, um, you know, sometimes I buy into breaks that I'm not going to watch live, and sometimes I only buy in if I can watch live. It just kind of depends on my mood. And frankly, there's plenty of times I buy in and I don't ever even go back and watch it. <laughs> I know that's awful. But if it's somebody I've broken with a lot and I know that... If I've hit something, they're going to send it. I just kind of wait and see if tracking goes on there. And if it does, then then I might go back and watch it and see, hey, what did I hit? And if I don't see any tracking go on there, then it's like, eh, eh. I'm not, I'm not even going to go see what came out. Is that awful? It kind of is, isn't it? But I, that, that's kind of how I am, I will admit it. I just wait and see what shows up in the mail a lot of times. Unless it's somebody I break with. If I don't break with them a lot or I don't know them really well or something, I probably wouldn't do that. But if I do, I don't worry about it too much. Here's another Mike White because I know you wanted two if you have the Cowboys. I know you looked at that first one and said, eh, number to 25, who wants it? I want a pen pal. Well, there you go. Now you have it. That was, you know, I was being sarcastic. I know you wanted the, I know you wanted the one to twenty-five before somebody comes along and says, "Hey, the one to twenty-five is better." I know, I know. I was being facetious or whatever you want to call it. Oh man, look at that! I wasn't expecting that to be signed. I thought that was just going to be numbered. It is to twenty-five. It is a sticker. I thought for a minute it was on card, but it is a sticker, and it's Earl Campbell. Nice. So I went through this little uh, speech about this earlier when somebody said something about the Titans and the Oilers. But if you did not happen to hear me, here's how it goes, kids. Cards always stay with their franchise when you break with me. So here's what that means. The Houston Oilers left Texas. They went to Tennessee. They became the Tennessee Oilers and then they became the Tennessee Titans. So any cards we pull for the Oilers are sent to the Titans because they stay with their franchise. That's to $6.99. The Houston Texans are a completely different franchise that didn't even come into existence until well after the Oilers uh, had moved to Tennessee and gone on their little journey. This is to $99 for the Steelers with AB. So the Titans just got a nice hit with Earl Campbell. Oh, the guy who, um, Blazin, you said the guy who hit that one of one, Josh Allen, offered to sell it to you. What is he, what was he asking, just out of curiosity? 
how much did he ask for it? I always like to know that kind of stuff. Because I still, the best, the best hit from a monetary standpoint, because all hits are subjective as to what any one person considers, quote, the best. But the one that sold, had the most monetary value, of course, was that uh, Shohei that I pulled out of Bowman, that crazy, roughly $100,000 Shohei Otani card. So I don't think I'm ever going to pull one that tops that value. <laughs> but I have pulled some nice stuff. Uh, we pulled a nice one of one Deshaun Watson uh, rookie out of National Treasures. We pulled a lot of really good stuff this year, actually. So it's to 24 die cut for the Bucks. But I'm always just kind of interested, you know, when something sells that came out of one of my breaks. I, I don't know. I just kind of keep track of it sometimes. So I'm just curious. Oh, we wanted 500 Well, that's not too bad, really. I, I mean, well, I, I get your point. Nobody's, you probably don't just have an extra 500 bucks laying around to buy it. Most of us don't. TJ Watt and the Steelers. My Pittsburgh Steelers with a relic. But generally speaking, I'm surprised that he didn't have it priced higher because most of the time, to 99 for the Dolphins, with our rookies especially before they've taken the field. I'm sure you guys have noticed this phenomenon as well. What happens is it's all based on promise and potential, and people will just get crazy sometimes and pay crazy money for stuff. So as a result, people list stuff for crazy money. That is to 299 Michael Thomas and the Saints. So I'm a little surprised, truly, that he didn't ask more than that for it. Matt Stafford to 99 for the Lions, the primary colors insert. Panthers to 699. But it's a great time of year to scoop up stuff if your rookie is, if the rookie you like and that you think is going to be awesome is not the same one that's one of the big hype rookies. It is a great time to pick up their stuff because you can get it for cheap to 99. Uh, the other Watt, JJ Watt for the Texans. But if you like one of the hype rookies, yeah, you're gonna pay you're gonna pay a, a hefty premium in the preseason. That's to 299, just based on the promise. And sometimes. It ends up being a bargain because their prices go up and up and up. And sometimes it ends up that you think, whew, yeah, I should have waited. But kind of no way to tell, really. It's like the stock market. I just have to wait and see what happens. Okay. Now we have two things to do. We're going to have to give away this uh, or use random to award the face-to-face -face card. But first, if I had a drum roll, I would play it right now. Let's see who this is. Who's it going to be? Oh, man. DJ Chark. Turn of the century. Well, at least it's red, so that's good. So it's really low numbered then, right? Well, no, it's not Pen Pals. It's turn of the century. It's still going to be probably to 99 or, or so. Um, but you know what we're going to do, don't you? Yeah, we're going to go to the checklist. And we'll find out what it's going to be numbered to over here at Panini's website. DJ Chark is a jag, um, but I just don't know what the red's going to be numbered to. And even if I did, you know, I'm a nerd and I go look them up anyway. I just like it all to be up here on the screen. And I just click the wrong. I do it every time. It is Don Russ. I just like it to all be up here so that uh, everybody can follow along and there's no questions about any of it. I'm getting there. Where are we, turn of the century? Come down here to me and be my friend. There we go. Card number 15, DJ Chark, is going to be numbered to 99. So I was right the first time. The Jags to 99. Now we have got uh, another little housekeeping issue, if you will, before... 
we can recap. And that's our face-to-face -face card. We only had one tonight, probably because we just did a half case. But anyway, as you see, we have the Rams and the Eagles on this card. And I'm going to first go to the checklist. We'll see if we have the same team owner. If we do, life is good and we don't have to do anything. If we don't, I will head over to random.org. I'll bring you along with me and we'll give that uh, a little spin through random and figure out where it goes. So 1419611 6, has the Rams and the Eagles is Rob Dog 80. So yeah, that means we do have to go to random. And here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to put in left side and right side. Usually I would put in the teams because there is only one of them. But I don't know why I'm not. Just because I always do those face-to-faces left and right. So same as. I'm going to hit random three different times. The first two you can ignore. It is the third and final random that will determine where that card is going to go. So ignore this first one. You can ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. And there you see, three times our date and time stamp. It goes to the left side of the card. So what that means is the Rams. So this is going to the Jared Goff side of the card. And that's in a sleeve, but there'll be somebody who will say, oh, you wrote on the card. So there, now you can see I did not. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going to happen, guys. We're going to recap, and then after we recap, I will put the spreadsheet information up one more time in case you missed it. It will have your shipping date or your projected shipping date and all that kind of jazz. We'll do that after the recap. So our face-to-face -face card awarded to the Rams using random.org. Our redemption was DJ Chark for the Jags. It will be numbered to 99. It was turn of the century red. Our relics, we got ripped off. Panini only gave us five. They owed us six. They gave us five. What are you going to do? For the Steelers, we had TJ Watt and then Corey Davis for the Titans. For the Colts, it was T.Y. Hilton. And this one really is kind of cool. Throwback threads, it's numbered to five. And we have Jeremy Shockey on one side and Evan Ingram on the other for the Giants. That's a pretty cool little relic. And then A.J. Green for the Bengals, which you guys know how I feel about that. I think they were stingy to just give us the white. Nice little Earl Campbell here to 25. Once again, Oilers cards go to the Titans. Stay with the franchise. Mike White on card, hard signed, pen pal for the uh, Cowboys. Another Mike White. This one is numbered to 25, but it's a sticker for the Cowboys. Hard signed pen pals for the Colts with Doris Fountain. Mike Gesicki to 25. Sticker, Dolphins. Dual pen pals, hard signed for the Broncos. We have Royce Freeman and Cortland Sutton. Hard signed pen pal, Mark Walton and the Bengals. A sticker for the Ravens, Hayden Hurst to 99. Turn of the century, red. A nice Bradley Chubb, pen pal, hard signed, blue ink, which means 99 or less for the Broncos. For the Green Bay Packers, numbered to 99, it is Marquez Valdez Scantling. And then, pretty little Josh Rosen, blue ink, hard signed, 99 or less for the Arizona Cardinals. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put up. Ah, I usually do this first. Well, that's all right. We'll throw them in here real quick. <laughs> that is a die cut numbered to 24. This is to 49. This is to 59. Deshaun Watson is to 10. There's another die cut to 24. A third die cut to 24. And a charger to 10 with Dylan Cantrell. And, of course, we had lots of other numbered cards, but I typically only set aside the ones like that that are low, low numbered, not all the ones to, you know, 99 and 199 and all that because there's so many in Elite. So, so many. Um, okay, what do you have? Uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Tree Trimming. And I say, I say, is that from, by the way, I say, I say, is that like Foghorn Leghorn? Where he goes, I'll say, I'll say, boy. Like when he's talking to the little chicken hawk. Just, is that what that's from? 
maybe i don't know you've probably already logged off and everybody else is like why are you attempting to do foghorn leghorn because that doesn't sound like him i know it doesn't sound like him but anyway um aaron you have said you have a random stadium club question um what is your random question aaron if i i don't know if i can answer it or if anybody else is hanging out that can answer it but throw it up there man we'll see if we can Meanwhile, and let me queue up our little spreadsheet info again because I promised uh, that would come through. So there's your projected shipping dates for everything tonight. Uh, once again on Elite, I may be able to get that out sooner, but in case I cannot, uh, it is projected for Friday and I will try to get it out to you sooner. Constellation Cards course, you don't have to worry about every, I'm sure every team pulled cards in Elite. Constellation cards do apply for the first two breaks, and of course, uh, those typically will ship with your next package of something where you do have a hit, or you pull a card, or an item. But if you want it to go sooner, you drop me a line, let me know, we'll sort it out. And here's Aaron's random question. An Aaron Judge Instavision numbered 5 of 10. Uh, you must be talking about 2017, uh, or are you talking about this year? You're talking about 17 Stadium Club or 18 Stadium Club? Because 17 Stadium Club, I was actually just looking at Instavision prices, uh, actually yesterday, but I don't know if you meant 17 or 18, because 18 prices I don't think are out yet, are they? 18. I don't think they're out yet. But most of that Instavision, um, well, in fact, oh, I wonder if I have it. Hang on a second, Aaron. I'm going to see if I can tell you um, just in general. This is from last year because this year's prices are not out yet for Stadium Club uh, from Beckett, to the best of my knowledge. But I had the InstaVision, like for instance, last year in 2017, when Judge was, of course, uh, a rookie, his InstaVision card fell within the range of $30 to $80. And then the gold, which were numbered to $50, um, would have been anywhere from one and a half to six times the price of the, of the unnumbered. And the black, which would have been numbered to 25, again, this is last year, would have been roughly one to two times the basic price. So, you know, most of these, like if I'm looking at from 2017 Stadium Club, like I'm looking at Chris Bryant, he ranged from 15 to 40, Trout from 15 to 40, Jeter from 12 to 30. So I would say Aaron Judge Basic, I know yours is numbered to 10, but a basic out of 2018 would probably be a similar price line to a Chris Bryant or a Mike Trout. So I would say somewhere like 10 to 30 unnumbered. The fact that it's numbered to 10, you could probably increase that by one to two times, something like that. It's my guess anyway. And of course, always, as with anything, it's only worth what somebody else is willing to pay. But that should give you an idea, maybe. Um, if you're just trying to list it, I would try to list it as a, a buy it now or best offer and see how they fall. All right, I realized I left you on, the, on this page, didn't I? Sorry. So uh, you've already seen all this because it's been up there for a few minutes now. But you haven't seen the rest of Saturday or Sunday yet. So again, this is just the stuff, guys, that we're breaking over the course of the next few days. Once again, I messed up. I don't have our gold standard breaking tomorrow night. It does come out tomorrow night, Wednesday, but we're not going to start breaking it till Thursday. I just got confused and on what days were what because it's stupid 4th of July, and I listed it incorrectly. But we are opening other cool stuff tomorrow night. Encased basketball, Inception baseball, and Museum Collection baseball, full cases of each. So we're still going to have a lot of fun tomorrow night. Uh, we're just going to have to delay our gold standard fun by one night. That's all. And I guess, unless you guys have got anything else for me, I think that's it for tonight. So once again, thanks for joining. I appreciate you being here. And uh, hopefully I will see you again tomorrow night, or if not then, sometime soon. And have a good rest of your week. We'll see you the next time. Bye now.